Zechariah chapter 10. Ask ye of the Lord, reign in the time of the latter rain. Now there's two great rains in Israel. Seven years of Elijah not calling for rain. Moses calling for the water to turn for blood. The blessing that would return at the second advent, Lord Jesus Christ, and before the millennium would be this rain. So the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to everyone grass in the field. Also could be in the time of Zechariah too. I mean, the, the land's been judged. It's been destroyed. The temple's up. The walls are built. They need God to provide water. Water is a living source that outdoes or does food. You can survive longer without food than you can with water. For the idols have spoken vanity. Oh, so see? The rain didn't come because of idols. The diviners have seen a lie. Crystal balls, tea leaves, knots on your head. And have told false dreams, lying dreams. Notice how lies are connected with magic and magic is connected with lies. Magic is a lie. It's an illusion. It's not real. They comfort in vain. That's what the weatherman does. Oh, we're going to finally get the rain that we need and it never comes. Therefore, they went their way as a flock. They were troubled because there was no shepherd, no leader. They took off and just went where no, no one to guide them. No one to bring them. No one to take care of them. No one to care for them. No one to be with them. They're troubled. They're all alone. God's anger, my anger, was kindled against the shepherds. And I punished the goats. That's... According to Jesus, that's the that's the ones that don't. They're not the sheep. They're not the ones of God's flock. Shepherds who don't take care of God's sheep. God is kindled in anger against them. If you don't feed, take care of, medicate, guide. He causes me to lie down. Sheep, you got to make lie down. He brings me to uh, still water, I think it is. A ripple in the water will scare sheep. Pastors ought to read and know and apply to their lives, Psalms 23. And don't get off saying, well, Jesus Christ is the shepherd. I'm just a pastor. Peter said Jesus Christ is the chief shepherd. John chapter 10, oh, Zechariah chapter 10. Uh oh, how kawinky dinky. He says, the ones that don't care the sheep, the ones that run when the, when the wolves come, they're just hirelings. You know what hirelings are? They get paid to do it. I'm just paid to be in the pulpit. Anything happens to them, I didn't see it. And God says, I see you. And you're in trouble. For the Lord of hosts has visited his flock, the house of it, Judah. So when Jesus speaks in, Isaiah, uh, uh, in, in John chapter 10, who are his sheep according to Zechariah 10.3? Jewish people.
The only place that the church is mentioned of his sheep in John chapter 10 says, Other folds I have, they are not of this. Sheep are Israelites that are under God, under God's care. Goats are ones that don't want to have anything to do with God. And has made them, the sheep, as his goodly horse in the battle. I don't know. The sheep become his horses. Out of him, God came forth the corner, the cornerstone. The corner of a wall for defense. Out of him, God, the nail. It's a fastener. It's a builder. It can also be a weapon, according to JL. Out of him, God, the battle bow, war. Out of him, God, every oppressor together. God of war. So again, let me just say, oh, we don't we don't go into the army or the military. We don't believe in the draft because God says thou shalt not kill. Zechariah 10, 4 says God is for everything for war. You just want to be a coward. The Bible says, wait a minute, hold on. I just thought of my, my wife's life verses, where it's called the, let me get, oh, what's it called again? Um, the pajamas of the, no, no, it's not the pajamas. Um, uh, it's called the armor of God. And you get a breastplate, you get a shield. A helmet, you get shoes, you get a sword. How can you say I can't fight battles when God gives you armor? Our weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Oh, look at that. To say the Bible says thou shalt not kill, I can't go to war, I can't take part of the draft. You're just a lying prophet. You need to shut up. God's going to rebuke you. He sure tells his people, get up and fight. I guess Joshua was wrong, I guess. You know, he, how many battles did he fight? And he lost one. And they shall be as mighty men, the sheep. Now, can you just picture the sheep out there wearing, you know, shields, bucklers, swords, bah, bah, which tread down their enemies in the mires of the streets in the battle. Here are sheep, battle sheep. And they're kicking butt. Forget Ninja Turtles. Forget Transformers. And any other creature you've got that you can come up with cartoons. I have in my Bible a bunch of sheep are going to put armor on and they're going to kick butt. You know what's so funny about that? You ever seen Jews? They're short. They shall fight. Because the Lord is with them, thou shalt not kill. And the riders on horses shall be confounded. What on earth are these guys doing? The Jews are winning. God is with them. And I, God, will strengthen the house of Judah. I will save the house of Joseph. You know who Joseph was? The other firstborn son of Jacob. The one's a type of the Lord Jesus Christ in many ways. I will bring them again to the I will bring them again to place them. For I have mercy upon them. Does that sound like God's done with Israel? You gotta keep saying that. I gotta keep reading the Bible. These heresies, these occults, these religions out there teach something. And when you read the Bible, it displaces what they say. They shall be as though I had not cast them off. Forget the Babylonian captivity. 
forget the, the destruction Titus did in 70 AD. There is going to be a massive amount of Jews in the millennium. Blessed, honored, glorified under the Lord Jesus Christ. For I am the Lord their God and will hear them. You know, in order to be saved, you have to have the Jewish God. Now, how can you call yourself Christian and your organization is totally against the Jews and you lie about the Holocaust to protect your one race of people? John chapter 1 says, Jesus Christ said, they are my brethren. Jesus Christ is Jewish. You cannot proclaim you're a Christian and not believe the Jewish race. The salvation is of the Jews, the Bible says. My God is the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and the twelve tribes. And they of Ephraim shall be like a mighty man. One group of people as a man. Now how are you going to kick their butt? God gives one man the strength of a whole tribe. And their heart shall rejoice as, as through wine. Making them happy. They're rejoicing. They're glorified. Their happiness. Yea, their children shall see it. And be glad. Their heart shall rejoice. Not in the wine. Now see, it said rejoice as through wine but the true rejoice is in the lord you really want to rejoice you really want to get a high get high on god get a drinking of the spirit you know what imitation that is of is it the second ghost in uh oh man the Christmas story? Doesn't he have the wine of gladness? The great Christmas spirit? That makes all men happy? He stole that out of the Bible. You will have to give an account to God for that. Aren't you? The King James 1611 Bible is the only Bible that's not copyrighted. That's why people can steal from it. But you're going to stand before God one day and give an account of what you stole. You can't steal. Thou shalt not steal. I, God, will hiss for them and gather them. Hiss is a gathering. I guess the closest thing you would get, I would know, is when somebody puts their fingers up to their mouth and whistle. I can't do that. I can whistle, but I can't do that. And gather them. Who? Ephraim. Ephraim's the one the Bible says, join yourself not to Ephraim. He's joined idols. Ephraim gets a bad condensation, but here he is. He's back. He's back in the Lord. Hallelujah. For I have redeemed them, Ephraim. So you see, with all the idolatry, all the sins of Ephraim, God says, hey, you're washed. You're clean. And they shall increase, grow more in population as they have increased. They shall increase as they have increased. Wait a minute. I just read, and they shall increase as they have increased. That's more. Grow more than they have increased. I never saw that like that before. A greater than greater growth. I thought it said decrease. You know, as all the times they were, you know, died and the captivities, but it's increased. So it's a greater. I, God, will sow them among the people. 
and they shall remember me, God, in far countries. And they shall live with their children and turn again, repent. Israel is going to repent one day. And they're going to get right. And they're going to bring their children. I, God, will bring them again also out of the land of Egypt. They don't belong there. Gather them out of Assyria. They don't belong there. I will bring them to the land of Gilead in Lebanon. And place a pla and place shall not be found for them. And a place shall not be found. That means where they don't belong. They're going to be in their land promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and the twelve tribes. That is their land. They're going to get it. And he shall pass through the sea with affliction, trouble, problems. And shall smite the waves in the sea, storms. And all the deep rivers shall dry up, no rain. And the pride of Assyria, pride, never for God. Syria, the Assyrians, always a type of Antichrist, shall be brought down. He's going to get Assyria. He's going to destroy them. And the scepter of Egypt shall depart away. Egypt will be gone. And I, God, will strengthen them in the Lord. They shall walk up and down in his name. A name written on their foreheads. saith the Lord. So as God said, so it will be. Those Israelites are not finished. Now today, if they don't believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, they will burn in hell. But those remnants of the Jews at the end of the seven year tribulation period that flee the Antichrist, that run to refuge like God has told them to do, they will be saved. They will repent at the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. They will acknowledge Jesus as their Messiah and Jesus will take them and God will marry them. And you got the 1,000 year honeymoon of God in Israel and the honeymoon of Jesus Christ in his church together. In peace. The Jews will have their land. And any nation that helped them during the tribulation period, they will be rewarded with the same glory for helping God's people. 